Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you're doing well today. This is my Siberian Husky, Britney Spears. A lot of people ask me, dude, why did you name a male dog Britney Spears? Wait, wait, that's a boy? And you named it Britney Spears? What's your deal, bro? Well, if you'd like to know the whole entire story, I got a whole video explaining exactly why I named this dog Britney Spears. It's a funny story. If you want to listen to it, I suggest you go and visit that video. I'll link it down in the description below for you. But these are my two Siberian Huskies. This is Gila. She's the lady on the floor giving me the sulky look. And like I said, this is B Spears. He's the man of the house. Ain't nobody does it better than this cute little boofy head. Now, if you follow the channel, you know that in the last couple of weeks, I got Britney Spears neutered. You see that little thing on his arm it looks like there's something around his arm it's actually a spot where his arm has been completely shaved that's where he got his IV injection to go under anesthesia to get neutered and I know a lot of people have been wondering hey should I get my dog neutered should I get my Siberian Husky neutered what are the benefits what are the disadvantages Tell me about it, 60. I want to know. Well, just in case you're wondering, Britney Spears right here is two years old, and I just got him neutered. And most people get their dogs neutered when they're super young, typically like in the six month to one year range. Now, this is what people practice for a really long time, and vets are saying that it's not good and you should wait, and other vets are saying, no, you should do it right away. There's all this controversy going around about that. I'm going to let you guys know exactly how I feel about it so you guys can make your own decision, but basically this is what's up when it comes to me. I want both of my Huskies to get all of the necessary hormones that they need to get for growing up. Make sure that they grow up the right way because whenever you take away your dog's genitalia, whenever you're doing the spay or the neuter dance, you're getting rid of their ability to make necessary hormones. Like your boy dog needs a certain amount of testosterone, your girl dog needs a certain amount of estrogen. So it's really important to make sure that you're getting adequate amounts of both of these things. And I think in my own opinion, you have to wait till your husky's fully grown before you get rid of those things that make hormones for them. So that's what I did. I waited until Britney Spears was two years old. That way, I know that he's fully grown. He's an adult male husky. He's got all the hormones that he needs. And I felt comfortable getting rid of his, uh, you know, his bait and tackle. Now, a lot of people wonder, hey, if I get my husky neutered or if I get my husky spayed, does that change them? Does it, does it change their personality? There are horror stories out there. People saying, you know, I got my husky Husky spayed, I got my husky neutered, and they never came back the same dog again. Snake, are you okay? Snake? Snake? And trust me, it's something that we worried about, something that I'm sure you guys question, probably worry about yourself. So there's a lot of thinking and a lot of planning that goes into the process of getting your doggo neutered. It's not just kind of like a, oh, one day I feel like, you know, hey, it's a Wednesday. <laughs> Maybe I should get my pup neutered today. You should really research and consider all your options. Obviously, you should do this with any decision when it comes to your pepperoni pizzas. So now it's been a couple weeks since I've had Britney Spears neutered. He's completely done. He has no more problems going on. Like there's nothing for me to worry about any longer when it comes to the healing process or the recovery process. It's been a couple weeks, I'm finally letting him hang out with his sister, kind of do the wrestling thing. We gotta wait a little bit longer before I can let him have a shower or a bath. That's one of the requirements whenever they get a surgery, you can't clean them. So if the wound area does get a little bit messy, you know, you're gonna have to just spot clean it. You can't give your dog a bath. So I've been keeping an eye on it. It's been pretty clean. He was really good about not ever licking it or anything like that. Now for educational purposes, I am going to show you the neutered spot, okay? So if you do get queasy at this kind of stuff, there's no blood, there's no open wounds, it's nothing like that. But if you are squeamish when it comes to surgical stuff, you can skip a little bit, it's only gonna be a second. So for those of you who are curious, yes, they do shave basically this entire under spot here. You can see where this is like the area that was operated on. Now right here, you will see this little black spot and that is actually a tattoo that they put on his skin so that they know that he's a neutered dog. He'll have that for the rest of his life. It's a little bit dirty right now, so I need to clean it up, but we're not supposed to give him a bath, so I'm not doing that. And one thing you wanna look for during neutering is to make sure that, you know, that doesn't swell up right there. And that's, you know, where things used to be. Everything's looking good, Your everything's looking good. So just in case you guys need a reference 
to see, you know, what it might look like. He's a good boy. You good boy. I know. You embarrassed a little. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A lot of people are wondering, hey, is Britney Spears the same old dog that he was before he got neutered? Like, what's changed? Has anything drastically changed in his personality? Has he become more aloof? Is he more tired? I'm going to go over that with you guys today. I'm going to kind of talk about what kind of changes have happened. So kind of first things first, we got Gila over here. She got spayed kind of a long time ago. And if you're watching earlier videos of her and you're like, dang, she looked way skinnier, and now she looks like she's got a pizza roll booty. That's because oftentimes when dogs get spayed or when dogs get neutered, they start gaining weight. Whenever a dog has the ability to create hormones and they still have all of their, you know, their good parts, their metabolism runs at a bajillion miles per hour. It's kind of a combination between the dog wants to look good for other dogs and also there's an adequate amount of hormones in the dog's body that allows for them to have a hyper fast metabolism. Now, when you get rid of these elements of your dog, when you neuter or you spay, it is likely that they will gain a little bit of weight. And sometimes you, you just can't get that weight to come off. Like Gila, she's gained a little bit of weight. And a lot of people are like, dude, why are you letting your doggo gain so much weight? I try and take her out and exercise all the time. We're switching up the diet, feeding her a little bit less. But sometimes, whenever you spay or neuter your pup, they will gain weight. It's just something that happens. So I've been watching Britney Spears very carefully because he's a very lean dog. I mean, he is, a lot of people are like, you need to feed him more. What, why aren't you feeding him more? And the truth about it is just that he wasn't neutered for a very long time. So he's mega mega lean. I've been watching him though. I want to see if he gains a little bit of weight and I'm here to tell you I think that even just in the couple of weeks that he's been healing, he has probably put on a pound or two. No lie. Which is actually kind of cool because I want him to gain a little bit of weight. I want him to have a little bit more than what he has on him, you know? It was really hard to get him to gain weight when he wasn't neutered, so I wanna see if this changes. Now you might be wondering, is his behavior the same? Is he still friendly? Is he still spry? Does he still, you know, have fun? Is he still a happy dog? And the answer to that is yeah, not really much has changed when it comes to Britney Spears' personality. He is pretty much the same dog that he was before he went in and got neutered. He still likes to have fun. He still messes around with Gila all day long. And Gila's like, this episode's not about me, so I don't wanna really be a part of it. You're such a spoiled brat. You're such a spoiled brat. Yeah, have a treat. There you go. Yeah, there you go. You feel better. You feel better. <laughs> She's like, thank you, daddy. Love ya. Now he did sleep a lot when he came home. There was a lot of resting. He did not feel good. And I could really tell that, you know, the first couple of days he was in pain, even though I was giving him pain meds. But as the days went by and as we've, you know, come into the first and the second week, He's really just gone back to normal. He likes to have fun, run around. And as far as personality goes, I really can't tell any difference. Yes, I was totally worried that his personality was going to change just a bit. Maybe neutering him was gonna do something. Maybe even just the traumatization. You know what I'm saying? The trauma of having to go and get neutered, having to be in a cage at a vet. I thought maybe that would make him sad or change him, but it, it really didn't. It really did not. I'm confident that he feels good and, and he's happy. And that makes me feel good because I just wanted this to be a non-painful experience for him. And I think that's what it was. I think there were some stressful times, of course, that's, that's inevitable, but overall, he's normal. Are you the same old doggy that you used to be? Yeah, you are. That's a good boy. That's my good boy. Yeah, that's my good boy. So I will continue to monitor any changes that happen to Britney Spears. Just make sure, you know, I don't know, maybe his aggression changes, maybe something like that changes. But so far, he's still a sweetheart. He's still such a little cuddle bug goober head. Look at that little, that little wrinkly head. Look at all them little wrinkles in your head. If you have a completely different story about your dog getting neutered and it was completely different from what I'm talking about, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Share it with the Husky community. We're all really interested about getting our Husky neutered, what it entails, what happens afterward. And I hope this helped you guys understand a little bit better about what you can expect when your husky gets neutered. Boop -a boop 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 I'm gonna boop that nose, I'm gonna boop 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 boop. You want a nose boop? I don't think you want a nose boop. I think you want a treat. But I'm giving out nose boops right now, bro. Is that what you want? Boop. Yeah. Nose boop. Boop. Yeah. You want one more? Boop. Yes, a nose boop. Uh, nose boop. Oh, nose boop. 
Oh, no, he's boop. I want to boop that nose. If you guys had fun today, don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss any more information or good facts about Siberian Huskies. And we'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Guess What? That's right. Whatever we make. Peace. <laughs>